What is up, Tritons? Michael coming at you back. I keep saying that wrong coming back to you with another video. Now you may have noticed I switched the channel name from Mars Otter to Michael, M-I-Q-L. Nothing's really changed. I just felt like I liked the name Michael a little bit more than Mars Otter. Mars Otter was like a, like a permutation slash conjunction of my last name. And uh, I sort of liked it in the beginning, but you know, as I started doing YouTube a little bit more, I'm leaning more towards Michael. So if you look at my other videos, the intro is gonna be the same. It's gonna say Mars Otter. I'll probably introduce myself as Mars Otter. Everything's the same, except I'm just gonna be going for Michael now, M-I-Q-L, because there's too many other Michaels on YouTube. So I have to spell it in a very fun way. But yeah, so that was just a quick announcement. Uh, nothing's changed, just more of a name change. But to get into the juicy meat and potatoes of this video, if you haven't seen my Who Am I video, check that bad boy out right here. Boink, boink, right, right there. I am going in to be, I'm going to be a senior at the University of California, San Diego, and I'm gonna answer some questions about what is it actually like studying? So I'm studying math and computer science with a minor in entrepreneurship and innovation. Again, all stated in my Who Am I video. So go check. But to address the elephant in the video, is UC San Diego actually socially dead? Now, a quick answer is I don't think it is. Now, I'm going off. I don't really have a lot of comparison because, you know, I only go to one university, but from what people have said, they have been to multiple universities and they have said that UCSD is more fun. So I had a friend who just transferred to Berkeley and he says UCSD is actually more fun. Now, you actually have to, the difference between normal, you know, other universities, I don't need to say normal. The difference between other universities and UCSD is the fact that other universities, you may not have to go out of your way to find the fun, but at UCSD, you kind of do. So whether that's joining Greek life, joining on, on campus student organizations, uh, going out of your comfort zone to meet people from other colleges, I'll mention the college system in a bit. And I'm a math and comp sci major, so I fully get immersed in that like social awkwardness culture because once people go into that CS dungeon, there there ain't no talking in there, no talk. But one thing I do notice at UCSD, <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate some really hot broccoli. <coughs> One thing I do notice at UCSD is that there seems to be sort of like a negative opinion among students. They're like, oh, I didn't get into UCLA. Oh, I didn't get into UC Berkeley. Didn't get into Stanford. There's like this weird, like just pity party going on a little bit where people are just complaining that they didn't get into one university. You know, you can't go in with that mindset. Otherwise you're just gonna be bummed all the time. I was bummed I didn't get into UCLA. Yeah, I was really bummed. But I was also really grateful I got into UCSD because UCSD is a great school. So, you know, if you're going to UCSD, you might encounter some people that are just real Debbie Downers. So either just don't hang out with those people or, you know, try not to get affected by them, you know? And overall, I think UCSD actually has pretty good programs. If you look into their cognitive science department, the CS department, a lot of the STEM fields, UCSD is really, really well respected in those communities. So if you're going for STEM, UCSD is a great choice. If you're going for arts, you know, maybe consider something else because UCSD is not really known for arts. So to touch on the six college system a little bit, there's six colleges throughout UCSD and they're kind of like the houses of Hogwarts. Each college, each college has a specific orientation, has a specific goal in mind, specific general education requirements, stuff like that. So I was in Roosevelt College, Eleanor Roosevelt College, and that was really focused on becoming a global scholar. Mm. So basically the GE requirements were I had to take, you know, a language, I had to take history in a certain region, you know, I had to take some making of the modern world classes, writing classes, so things that really focused on global history and things like that, becoming a world citizen. Whereas a college like Warren College, they are very engineering based, so a lot of their other requirements still have to do with maybe some more math classes, some more quantitative classes. I don't actually know the requirements, but you can find them out pretty easily. But I know that Warren is pretty much known to be the engineering college. But you can be any major and be in any college, with I, which I think is actually really cool. I actually like the college system a lot. You get to know the people in your college, you take all your general education classes with them, and then you'll take all those 
fun major classes with the people in your major. You get a kind of a little fun dichotomy, that's a fun word, dichotomy, where you're taking GE requirements with people you live with, and then major requirements with people in other, get up, meet a lot of new people. Also, when you're applying to colleges, ERC has the best dorms. ERC is Eleanor Rose. Also, for all the freshmen, they do like fun games and stuff, where you get to compete against the other colleges, stuff like that, just to get everyone nice and warmed up for the college year. Also, UCSD's campus is pretty interesting. It's not like a normal college campus. I when I remember when I toured it, I got a very like techie vibe almost. Like it's very modern the way it's laid out. It's not like a like a Harvard or Princeton where they look sort of like castles. Very like modern, very techy. A lot of like contrasts, things like that. The architecture is very interesting. It's very cool. So if you're into that, that's also a plus. One of the main downsides is that it almost feels like the university is a little bit greedy. So it's like, I pay so much in tuition. I feel like I'm paying, I have to pay for everything. I have to pay for parking. I have to pay for food all the time. I have to pay for like all these other things. So it, it seems like the university is a little bit greedy but again UC San Diego is just one of the UC system schools so it's pretty much gonna be the same throughout all UCs but that's just a major waff that I hear a lot like I hear the parking one a lot is that there's no parking and it's expensive to park like it's like $700 for the year to get a parking permit which is like ridiculous if I'm already paying so much for tuition also this just goes as a fair warning if you're an out-of-state student it is actually quite expensive for public university to study there again UCSD is a really good school but if you're out of state it can it can hurt the pocket a little bit I was out of state for two years of my college career and it it was so expensive for t just two years it was so expensive the th this the third year and coming on to this fourth year it's so much drastically cheaper and I get so many more grants so if you can become a resident before you go to UCSD I really really recommend that if you want to if you want to save some serious coin my dudes some serious coin but to go on a little bit how is the math department and the CS department at UCSD because that's what I'm most familiar with the math department you end up taking a lot of theoretical classes for my major and they're pretty difficult but you end up learning a lot like I feel like they make the classes actually pretty hard, but that will really prepare you for the workforce. So sometimes it's just gotta get the work done. For CS classes, so I only take half my classes in the CS department. Uh, I'm not computer science and engineering, so not all my classes are in that. But again, it's very challenging. The CS department has extremely, extremely smart professors. Also, if you can tutor for them, I highly suggest you do that. It looks great on a resume. So if you're a freshman, or gonna be a sophomore and you've taken some CS class at UCSD, go apply to be a tutor for one of those professors because you get insane connections, looks amazing on a resume. You also get paid, so no real downsides there. And so far, I've honestly loved being at UCSD. And I don't, I can't imagine what it would be like to go to another university. I've met so many amazing people. I've met so many amazing friends that I, I never regret going to UCSD and moving to California from New Jersey. It's been an amazing decision. So if you're on the verge of it and things that I've said kind of, uh, you know, make a little bit of fire in you, I highly suggest, you know, maybe going on a tour or maybe accepting an offer if you uh, you got one. Also, it's good to know that UCSD, I actually think, is on the rise in terms of prestige. So every year, we're just slowly climbing up the rankings. Also, I didn't know this when applying, but UCSD is actually the second most to applied to school in the country after UCLA. So it's a huge campus. I think it's nearing 40,000 students. So a lot of the intro level classes have really large lecture halls. I'm talking like 300 people plus. But then the upper division classes have smaller, smaller, classroom so if you probably if you don't want to be in a large lecture hall not all your classes will be like that but the beginner ones will will definitely be so just th that as a warning but again overall I want to keep this quick UCSD is not socially dead if you try I think the classes are great they're very entertaining you learn a lot the professors are awesome mo for the most part I think the programs are great great like I think the programs are great the architectures there are really interesting it's a very modern campus there's the six college system which 
which makes it an interesting dynamic, gives you something extra to talk about. Hey, which college are you in? Which college are you? What are their GEs like? All those intro, you know, questions when you first get to college. Um, and the only real downsides, I think, is that sometimes people complain a lot because they're there and, you know, you can't really help that. The fact that it's a little bit expensive. What are you going to do? It's college. Unfortunately, it is expensive. Those were just my thoughts. Quick little video about what it's actually like studying at UCSD. As you can see, this episode's border is the Geisel Library. It's pretty cool. It looks like a spaceship. So that's, uh, that's one cool benefit of going to UCSD. But again, if you guys a lot of the video hit consider hitting that subscribe button consider hitting that like button consider tuning into another future video my name is michael that is the new name i'm going by i mean my my name is michael but mars otter used to be the channel name i just changed it again just more of an aesthetic choice a little i just like it a little bit better i'll see you guys in another video see you later